Hello, welcome to Agile Apothecary channel. My name is Masha and with this video I would like to start a new series on my channel called How To, where we're going to talk about the best practices around the key Agile practices, tools, ceremonies and some aspects of Agile roles. So today I would like to talk about daily stand-ups. It is called one of the key ceremonies for any Agile team and it's very important that we do it right. So let's talk about the how-tos of daily stand-up. First of all, I would like to clarify the who, what and why of daily stand-up. Who. The whole team must be present and daily stand-up is essentially the most important meeting for the team. So if someone can't make it, it's always better to try to reschedule it. But if it prevents you from doing it on a daily basis, try to arrange a schedule so that everyone can be present. It's absolutely critical that the whole team gathers for daily stand-up. What? Daily stand-up is a ceremony where we share the recent updates, we make sure we exchange the critical information and we resolve the blockers, we address the problems right away. So this is another meeting where we provide status reports to the product owner or stakeholders. This is not a place where we share how much and how hard we have been working. and. This is not a place to move your tickets in Jira or Trello around on the board. And why do we do daily stand up so that we can stay on the same page? We can have shared understanding about the progress, about the problems that we are facing and about the priorities. So this is why we do daily stand ups. Now let's talk about the best practices around daily stand ups. First of all, it has to be time boxed. Usually it's 15 minutes, but it depends on the team size. So if your team is smaller, of course, you can make it shorter. If your team is larger, well, first of all, you might consider to break it down. But if you need more time, use more time. The most important thing is that we share all the information that we need, but try to time box it. So if you say it's 15 minutes, keep it down to 15 minutes. Don't make it endless. This brings me to the next best practice. As we said, daily stand-ups are here to help us deal with problems, with impediments, address the issues that we are having. So what do we do if there is a problem and we need to discuss it? And this is a serious problem, we need time. So when we say that during daily stand-up we address the problems, we don't mean that we resolve it on the spot, but instead we need to make action items to address those problems. What does it mean? During daily stand-up you identify a problem and you create an action item. For example, Bob to talk to Alice about this or Claire to set up a meeting for us to discuss this particular problem. So just create an action item and then have a separate discussion that you will schedule or you probably could have it right away after your daily stand up. But don't allow one problem to hijack the whole daily stand up and make it stretch over time but instead just create an action item. What do we do if people are missing stand-ups or we can't align the schedule because people are joining from different parts of the world? Well, there is no easy solution to this one. The best you can do is to align the schedule so that everyone can join somehow. So it doesn't necessarily have to be the beginning of the day always. If you have half a team joining remotely from the other side of the world, then you can probably do it in the afternoon or even in the evening. But the most important thing here is to encourage everyone to attend and to point out that this is absolutely crucial for all the team members to prioritize the daily stand-up and to adjust their schedule so that they can make it to this meeting and they can be flexible about everything else. And if a team member cannot attend for whatever reasons, maybe they have a dentist appointment, then you need to have some rules around the information sharing in this case. So what do we do? Do we post our updates on Slack? Do we share it on email or by other means? But every team member 
if they are working but not able to join the stand up on a particular day, they need to provide their updates in some way to the team. So discuss it with the team, have rules around that and see what you can do to maximize the attendance. Final problem that quite often arises with daily stand-ups is a question of whether stakeholders can or cannot attend daily stand-up. And there might be different opinions, but in my opinion, yes, they can. And it's actually better if they come because they can hear firsthand what is going on, but usually they are not allowed to speak up. So the only members who speak during daily stand-up are team members and they talk about things that are important for them to discuss. So again, this is not a place to provide updates for the stakeholders or to satisfy their curiosity to answer their questions, but for the team members to align. So if stakeholders have questions and team has time after the stand-up to respond to those questions, please go ahead. But stakeholders are not supposed to intervene into the process of the daily stand-up. And a final question I would like to address today, and it's something that quite often becomes a problem, is what do we do if our daily stand-ups are soul-crushing, boring, no one wants to go there? People just hate it and it's so dull. Well, this often happens if daily stand-ups are taken too formal or people see it as a place where they have to report and explain everything that I worked on. So we need to clarify that that's not the case and they don't have to recall all the tickets they worked on yesterday and they are going to work on today. But instead, it's a place for team members to share what is going on with each other. The best practice is for everyone to answer in turns the questions, what did you do yesterday? What are you going to do today? And what are the blockers or problems? You can change it. This is not set in stone. But the goal here is not to report everything, but just share the important updates that are important for the rest of the team. And another thing that you can do to improve your daily stand-ups to make them more enjoyable is to introduce some fun activity. It should be something short, not taking more than one or two minutes of your daily stand-up because it's only 15 minutes after all. But you need to create a good atmosphere so that people start looking forward to it. So how you do it really depends on your team. You probably know your team better. Some teams like fun more than others, uh, but you can think of some activity that would work for them. For example, start with a fun fact that people have learned during the day yesterday, or let's say start with a joke. Be careful with it because sometimes jokes can be offensive. So again, only if you know your team really well and you know that it won't lead to any issues, suggest this activity. Or it can be just sharing a fun fact about something or sharing uh, the book that people have recently read or a movie that they have watched or the TV show that they're binging. So one person shares one thing at a time and they rotate and each time it's someone new sharing it. By the way, you can also rotate the facilitation of the stand-up so that every person can bring something new and do it in their own way, in their own style. And it also would make it slightly lighter and more fun. And finally, you could play some games. So again, depends on the team. Not all the teams would like it. One of the games I've seen working before is a donut game where the team had a picture of donut cut into a number of pieces aligned with number of team members and they would put all those pieces together when they would uh, get together for the stand-up. And if no one was missing, no one was late, and the donut came, came together as a whole, then they would get one point. And after achieving certain number of points, the, the whole team would get donuts for everyone. It doesn't have to be a donut, it can be something else like a pie, for example. But the goal here is to engage people in the process, introduce a little bit of fun, and also encourage them to join every stand-up and come on time. I hope you found some of those ideas useful. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.